Hello, I am Neil Cole and welcome to the Museum of Classic Sci-Fi in the North Pennines in Northumberland, England. The museum is the fulfilment of a lifelong dream since childhood after visiting the Blackpool Museum uh, Doctor Who exhibition in 1975 when I was five. Um, slowly, once I became a teacher, I was able to collect original Doctor Who items from production. I always wanted to get somehow a bit closer to the production process. And then about five years ago, we got this house, which was um, a derelict, it was like an old haunted house. There had been people living here, but it hadn't been really you know, looked after for many, many decades. So it was the cellar. I saw this cellar, which was flooded, full of junk, my wife and I, we walked away several times. We thought it's too much, we can't do it. But there was something kept bringing us back and we got the house. And then for the last five years, I have renovated this space. I thought, right, I've got something here. And I've been collecting throughout my life, original Doctor Who props, because I just love them. I just find it fascinating. And restoring them, because I'm a sculptor and an artist. So I was able to take props that some of the wealthier collectors would sort of think, oh, that's for the bin. I would say, oh, oh no, I can, bring that back to life. Try and keep everything as original as possible, preserve the original features, um, but ultimately bring these wonderful, wonderful monsters back to life so we can all see them again. I never thought I'd able, be able to put together something like this, but what I wanted to do was create a narrative timeline of classic Doctor Who, uh, story by story with an object, an item from as many stories as possible. So I'd never seen it done before, various exhibitions I'd been to, Everything seemed often quite hodgepodge put together. I wanted to make a sort of permanent, real serious exhibition based on uh, Doctor Who. And as it developed, it also, my passion for the general genre of sci-fi, I was able to do half and half. So again, a sort of timeline through classic science fiction. Um, so it's got a little bit more for a broader audience as well. Probably the best thing about um, owning and creating this, um, I guess it's been a creative process which is deeply satisfying. There's something inside which loves putting all these old pieces in order. But it, it then transports me back in time to a very happy place when I was younger. Um, so it sort of rekindles the time that I had with my parents. And then I guess people come in and they have a similar experience. So they'll walk around, they'll come out and they'll go, oh, I remember this. And, it, and it, it's this sort of shared, um, nostalgia shared experience that fans of the show and, and science fiction we've, we've sort of experienced in our own ways and then it's it allows us to sort of have a good yak about it at the door really and it's just it's just it brings pleasure to people I enjoy it um, but the icing on the cake is just I can hear people starting to chatter as they come in and go oh I remember this and that and that's really really lovely it's been a lifelong dream and I, th I guess looking at my life, it's all been heading towards this museum when I look back at it.